After much anticipation, fueled by persistent rumors and leaks, Apple's Vision Pro Mixed Reality headset is making its debut. Yet, how does it stack up against another premium headset, the recently released MetaQuest 3? And which one is the better purchase for you considering their prices? We'll dissect the details in this video. The Vision Pro was revealed during the previous year's WWDC keynote by Apple, while the MetaQuest 3 has been on the market for a few months now. The MetaQuest 3 headset has gained attention for its mixed reality features, allowing for interaction with both the real and virtual world at the same time. A prominent aspect is its color pass-through cameras that allow you to engage with the actual world even with the headset on. While it might not match the Apple Vision Pro in terms of lifelike quality, the Quest 3 nonetheless provides a remarkable mixed reality experience. This means you might enjoy a digital board game right on your kitchen table, or decorate your living space with virtual artwork. Meta states that the Quest 3 will provide a deeply engaging experience for viewing films and television series, as well as for gaming. On the other hand, the Apple Vision Pro packs a punch with its Apple M2 chip, micro OLED displays, and impressive features like ambient spatial audio, eyesight, and gesture control. The Vision Pro, unlike the Quest, is controlled through the movement of your eyes, the gestures of your hands, and your spoken commands. Glance at an app to navigate, pinch your fingers to choose, twist your wrist to scroll, and speak out loud to type. The aim is to create an impression that virtual elements are actively present in your environment. By rotating the digital dial on the headset's edge, you can adjust the blend of the virtual and real-world visuals you perceive. In Apple's presentation of the Vision Pro, Apple highlighted teamwork capabilities. The Vision Pro is compatible with the Magic Keyboard and Magic Trackpad, allowing individuals to create a virtual office environment using the headset. The Quest 3 features a classic virtual reality layout, sporting a rectangular screen that envelops the majority of your visual field. It boasts a robust and comfortable design, complete with a Velcro strap and cushioned rubber padding. It also has a decent battery life of up to six hours on a single charge. The Quest 3 has a high-resolution display per eye, which is twice as much as the Quest 2. The Vision Pro features a modern and advanced aesthetic, with a curved glass screen that encompasses your entire vision range. Pun intended, it's designed for comfort and lightness, with adaptable straps and cushioned foam padding. It is designed to be a multifunctional single device, merging the capabilities of an iPhone, a MacBook, and an Apple TV. It's centered around matching the perfect option for your specific requirements and tastes. Now let's look into the price of these devices. The Vision Pro Mixed Reality Headset from Apple is priced at an astonishing $3,500. On the other hand, the Quest 3 is available starting at $1,500. To put it in perspective, that's higher than the cost of the Quest 2, yet lower than the PlayStation VR 2. This pricing strategy indicates the different consumer groups Apple and Meta aim to capture with their devices. While $500 for the Quest 3 isn't exactly spare change, it's certainly more digestible than forking out $3,500, potentially attracting a broader base of casual or regular users. So, which headset should you be getting? It depends on what you're looking for in a mixed reality device. If you want to use mixed reality for work and entertainment purposes, and you don't mind spending a lot of money on it, then the Vision Pro may be the best choice for you. The experience is smoother and more intuitive when engaging with mixed reality content, and it also enhances connectivity with additional Apple products and services. Should your interest in VR be for entertainment and leisure, and you're looking to be economical, the Quest 3 might be your optimal pick. It delivers a more enveloping and lifelike virtual reality experience, along with a wider array of social and gaming features. Which of these two devices are you looking to get? Or do you think the Apple's Vision Pro price is outrageous? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe for the latest on Apple and Meta products, and keep viewing by selecting one of the on-screen cards. Catch you in the next video.